Okay, so for today's video, we're going to be testing out Little Mix makeup. So I have this rock and gold get the look palette. So it was £14, but now it's half price in boots, so it's currently six quid. So when you open it up, you get four little eyeshadows, a highlighter, a lipstick, and then a liquid liner. And then I just picked up some lashes as well. So these are the Leanne Flutter effects. I just thought these were like super interesting because I've never ever seen like lashes like this. So they have a wispy effect and I thought they were so beautiful. So that's why I picked up these ones because they have like Perry, Jade and Jessie. Um, and then they have like little mix all together. I'm guessing what they've created or whatever. But yeah, I thought these were super, super beautiful. So let's get into it. So I've already got brows and um, what's this thing called? Eyeshadow primer on. So we're going to dip into the highlighter first. So it's this gorgeous shade up here. I'm just going to take that on a crown brush C510. I'm going to put that underneath the brow bone to start with. Hopefully this is a really pretty highlighter and nothing too chunky. But if not, I mean, you could always use it on the eyes. So... Oh wow, okay, yeah, that's really pigmented. <laughs> I've applied away too much. I'm just going to take a Spectrum A12 just to buff it out a little bit more, just because I've applied way too much. And yeah, I really did not need that much. I'm just going to try and buff it out as much as I can. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit glittery. Um, it's looking a bit glittery under the brow. Um, but hopefully it doesn't look that glittery on the face. I think I've just applied way too much on the brow. Um, obviously, I can't do much about that now. I've, I've applied it. <laughs> and maybe just take off the excess on like the back of your hand and then go in. So, yeah, I'm just going to do the other brow. It looks so much better now. I've applied a lighter amount. But obviously, I'm going to have to go in and add more because this one's super intense. So I didn't realise that they do have shade names. So the highlighter is just called Lightning. So obviously that's the shade I use. It's the Ola highlighter in the palette. So far, really pretty. Do you know what I wish this had? I wish it had a nice big mirror. Um, I feel like it would just absolutely make the whole thing complete. Then you can literally throw it in your bag and be on the go. Like, yeah. The highlighter is super pretty. Just obviously less is more with it. So I've just stuck a little bit of tape down. So for eyeshadow, I was looking at Leanne's eyeshadow look on the box and it looks like she's sort of got this cut creasy look going on. So I feel like that's what I'm going to go with today. So for eyeshadow first, I'm going to take this top shade, which I'd assume is Egyptian cotton and the eyeliner's just full of that. That's why you don't hold it up to the mirror. <laughs> so I'm going to take that on a Spectrum B06. You don't get a lot of fallout, which is nice. You know, there's tinsy bit but not an awful lot just gonna take that through the crease I'm just gonna further blend that out with a crown brush C429 please do ignore my witchy ass hair um yeah I know electric and I was like oh I'll do makeup first and then we got electric and I was like oh, sorry I'll just do my eye makeup first so it's also cruelty free and vegan it says it on the back of the box so that's really nice so I'm gonna take this other matte shade which is ammunition. So I'm going to take that on a crown brush C528. So we're just going to go around into the socket really, just to really deepen it up. So I'm just going to further blend that out with the same crown brush that we used. So far they're blending really nice, having no problems, no fallout, no nothing like that. I think it's really pretty. I like the fact that you get two matte, two shimmers. So you can do like a minimal eye look with it or you can sort of go for a nice cut crease. Um, it's sort of, you've got your gist in there. Like it's not overly dramatic, but obviously some people might be overwhelmed with a whole eyeshadow palette where you're just getting everything you need in one really. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm just going to cut the crease. So I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in light. So now that I've got that on, I'm just going to take, this is going to kick me out. <laughs> I'm just going to take Dusk, which is this nice copper shade. So I'm going to take that on the same brush. I've literally just wiped off the excess. And I'm going to pat that all over the lid. I'm getting a little bit of fallout of this. I can sort of just see it like here and here. Um, it is a little bit crumbly, but you'll be alright as long as you do eyes before face. I think that looks super nice. I'm just going to take a little bit of ammunition again. 
ammunition, ammunition. I'm just gonna run that flat through, back through the crease. So for winged eyeliner, so we do have obviously a liquid eyeliner in the case. It just says liquid eyeliner. I'm assuming it's black because of the packaging. And um, it doesn't say if it's waterproof or not, which I find that if it's not waterproof, there's actually no point in it for me at all. Um, but on the back of here, it's nice because it has like step one, step two, step three, and step four. So if you're like literally a beginner, because obviously I'm assuming this makeup's for more like teenagers, like from you know 15 upwards. So obviously um, you've got like the little step-by-step -step guide on how you can sort of get the look, which I think is really, really cute. And even for adults really as well, like if you're not into makeup that much, but you're like, oh, sorry, like I want a little kit, then go ahead. Right, yep, so it's black, so it's this nice wand applicator. I haven't used anything like this in such a long time. I used to love like the Urban Decay one. So I will give it a whirl and I will try to stay on camera as well for this. I'm just going to draw a nice thin line. It's nice and black, looking nice and black at the minute. Draw like another line. I like to draw like lines basically and then I'll go ahead and fill it in. I mean, it's not awful, but it's not the easiest winged line I've ever worked with. Um, I just, I do find it difficult to work with these. Like, I prefer a felt tip pen. Like, the one I'm loving at the minute is the Steeler one. Um, I literally tried it the other day. I think it's great. Um, so, yeah, just be aware that it might look a bit wonky donkey, especially if you're new to eyeliner. And I can already see, like, just this tiny dot of black, and it's really annoying me because it's so out of place. So let's just peel off the tape. So it's stayed within the lines, it's not bleeding or anything. Obviously I will do check in smudges and stuff. So I'm actually gonna finish up the other eye, apply some face makeup and then we'll be back to finish it off. Okay, so now that the rest of my face is on, we're gonna go back into the highlighter. So this is in, what was it? Lightning. So I'm gonna take that on a crown brush C529. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and apply it to the tops of the cheeks. While I appreciate that it's a nice highlighter, I feel like, I don't know, like I would have wanted something more golden just because these are quite golden and this is quite golden. So I feel like it would be so much better if it was like champagne color, just because it would blend in with the rest of the palette and it would sort of fit the eye look. Like I wouldn't really typically go for like a yellowy how highlighter with a bronzy look like i prefer something more golden but that's personally me um obviously other people have different preferences yeah i do think it's pretty i don't think there's anything wrong with it so what i'm going to do is off camera i'm going to apply the lashes just because i cannot apply lashes on camera but like i said i'm going to take these i don't think i said the price they were 5.95 and i bought them from we heart lashes or we heart false lashes um I don't know if you can get these on boots, but I think they sell these like all the time. I don't know about this little palette, but um, it's got follow at MLX Beauty. So I guess they might do a whole thing, but I'm going to apply these. You get glue with it inside, so I'm going to try the glue out and see how that works. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. So I just wanted to come on and mention, as I was pulling the lash from the box, it's literally ripped the front of the lash. I'm trying to get this to stay in focus so you can see. Um... Yeah, I'm actually really disappointed because that's obviously the front of the lash. So, um, I mean, I prefer to cut the end and now I have to cut the other one exactly the same. Yeah, this one's fine. It's got glue waiting on it. But as I was pulling this off, it's literally like dodgy. And you can see compared to the other one as well. Um, so I'm not impressed with that at all. Like I'm really gutted because I was super excited to try these lashes and I feel like it's just ruined by doing that. Okay, so lashes are now on and after the dilemma that we had, um, yeah, I think they look super beautiful. The lash glue, I'd say just fry in a bin because it is so hard to get this thing off, like out and in. Like I can't even get this back in and I'm doing it at all fours. So if you're a lash wearer, then you probably have lash glue already. But if not, then obviously it's a bit of a bummer because obviously you want to apply your lashes. And it's just, it was so hard. Like literally, I, as I pulled it out, glue went flying everywhere. 
So yeah, I don't really recommend the glue, even though it's stuck really well. It's just in and out thing. It just it annoys me. I literally can't even bother. Like, I'm just gonna throw it straight in the bin. Um, but I think they're the most like unique lashes I own. Like they're so weird. I just love how they look and everything. They are like a little bit shorter. I'd like them so much better, but that's because I have hooded eyelids. But the lashes, like the box and the packaging and everything, really remind me of Eyelore. And I don't know why, like even Eyelore had the same like shitty glue that comes with it and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if it is in partnership with Eyelore, but they don't want you to know kind of thing. I don't know. But I love these lashes. I think they're great. So to finish off the look, we're gonna go into the liquid lipstick so it is a matte lipstick and i'm not gonna lie to you i'm a gloss girl so <laughs> i might be a bit biased about this but obviously i know a good matte lip when i know when i see one because um obviously i hardly wear them um so yeah let's get to applying this it's like this nice i say peachy color in the tube it might look different it kind of smells like vanilla but kind of has a chemical scent as well to it so let's just apply this it's a nice small wand i like that okay so don't mind that bit of redness i was just sort of um cleaning up the lipstick line um it looks really pretty it was really opaque um it doesn't feel very dry at the minute and um, it feels quite nice doesn't really feel like there's much on my lips so yeah, I'm super happy. I'm actually really impressed with the whole thing. Um, so I love these lashes. I think they're so beautiful. Like I feel like they're gonna be my like next go-to lashes. So stunning. She really just nailed it on the head with these ones. The only thing I don't really like is the highlighter, just because of the color. Um, it's just not my sort of thing. Maybe with a different look, I'd really love it. Um, I have something very similar to this already that I don't really use. Um, the eyeliner was fine, but not the best eyeliner. Like, it's good, it's black, but it wasn't the easiest to work with. And, like, if you're not good with eyeliner, like, personally me, then you might not get along with it with the best. But everything is so good so far. So, the check-in time is... I don't know, because my phone is dead. Let's have a look at my watch. So, the check-in time is basically quarter past five <laughs> so yeah we'll do check-ins later on just to see how everything wears okay so the check-in time is 25 past 11 so i am still glowy i'm actually really really glowy i'm a little bit oily if i'm honest but the highlight on my nose is still like really beaming um so obviously it's a beautiful highlighter but for me it's just not my personal color um, especially with this eye look, maybe I might like, like it with something else, but I think I've said that about 10 times now. Um, eyeliner hasn't smudged or anything, doesn't, hasn't flaked, looks fine. The eyeshadows look really nice, lashes are obviously lashes, I really like them. Lipstick, oh, uh, obviously it's lasted. I did have to apply a small amount on top again, just because it was fading where I had eaten and drank, but it wasn't like overly bad, but... It just, you know, in a matte, feels really sticky. And it's not my favourite thing to wear when they're like, and I feel like it's worse than a lip gloss, really. You're like, when you get a proper sticky lip gloss and get a sticky matte lip. Um, so it's not my favourite matte lipstick, but I mean, it did last well and everything. So yeah, um, I think the little kit in the eyelashes is really cute. I think they're worth it. I think makeup's really good in it. So yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs>